Welcome to your first tutorial of I want to be a conga player. Listen, the first thing is to learn how to tune the drums. And I have a method that is very, very effective. I use my, my iPhone with an app here that is called Pano, P-A-N-O, Pano Tuner. See, I don't know if you can see it from there. It's called Pano Tuner. So what I do, I take my right drum that is a low drum. I put it next to the drum and is tuned to an E. So what I do, I take my wrench that is a 13 millimeter. That's what I put my all my my tuning pegs, you know, on on a 13 millimeter nut. So I go and I tighten it up a little bit because I know it's a little bit out of tune. And tie it up a little bit. And give it a little bang. Gotta give it a little more to get it into an E, low E. There we are. We go to the middle one, it's an F. I, I tune it to an F. So you see you go in cross one from here to here, from here to here, from here to here. This one I have it pretty much there. F. And this will become a G. A G. Again we go, give it a little. There we go, we have a G. Well, now we got the drums pretty much tuned. The thing is, these fiber skins that I'm using, they're not the animal skin, they're fiber. This one will stay tuned pretty much under any kind of weather. That's why it is important to use this. Now, I'm going to give you a little exercise to begin with. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's for today. The next time I'll see you, remember to subscribe to my page so like that you get an update for all the new tips I'm going to give you on how to become a conga player, actually a percussionist, because I'm going to have different percussion instruments with their main beats, like the clave is the one I recommend to learn first. So that's coming next. Don't miss on I want to be a conga player.